Hello, and welcome back to Zim Tutorials for Adobe Animate. I'm Dr. Abstract, and we're approaching our 30 tutorials. We just did a tutorial on physics. Thought we could fit in a second one, but maybe not. We've only got three left, and we have some things we want to show you. So uh, for the physics, we put some links down there at the bottom of the last one. The last one will certainly get you far. One thing we didn't look at is uh, how to do the contact, but it's pretty easy. And uh, even we've got it in that, that kid's example of the bouncing bugs. So just have a look there. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And we have looked at how to drag in Zim. We've looked at how to transform in Zim, so that's apply little handles and make things bigger and smaller and rotate them. Uh, what we didn't look at is a gesture, and gesture might be handy for you to have in Adobe Animate, so I don't think that's quite built in. That's, that's pinch and rotate and zoom like with multi-touch. So let's go take a look at how we can do that. There is an example under examples, just a basic gesture example. It was complicated code to do. Ours works okay. I think it'll get you by probably on mobile. Let's go in and see how we can apply it right in Adobe Animate. Uh, so we'll go to Animate. We'll open up a file. Oh, you know what? One thing I was going to do is some, just a little bit of housekeeping because this will be this will be a short one. So before we open up a file here, uh, a little while back again ago, we uh, looked at how to drag along, or we were dragging, no, what was it, a sprite we were moving with the motion controller. We wanted to uh, show you a maze at the time, and so it didn't seem to work. In the end, it just, we needed to control refresh to refresh it. It was still kind of half, half up and half not up. Um, but let me just show you where that is and how it works. So that was back down here under the Zim bits. And it was sort of embarrassing. I don't like having things broken, really. But uh, if, if we open this up now, it looked like a maze, kind of. And uh, not that you'll be amazed, but there it is right there. Um, what had happened is we just didn't seem to control refresh on this. We should have, and it would have worked. But anyway, we can tap anywhere to have it start. And so what's happening now is we've tapped and we're following the mouse, which works, as you can see, a maze. But if we hit the edge, it kind of stops. But it it sort of is a little bit jittery. It doesn't like bounce off and keep rolling. You have to almost drag it in the opposite direction. And so it's not the best. It's not quite as nice as the physics one. But this is with hit test. So there we are hitting the various edges and just stopping motion when we hit. And that's sort of the best you can do without um, something like physics where it kind of bounces. There's also or set to a tap. So if I do this, it's not following the mouse. I have to tap to the different locations. So you see that I'm free to move my mouse and then I tap. And that's almost uh, has a better feel to it because then you understand why that is hitting like that. So, oh, you know, I hit, so I have to go this way. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, uh, a user experience is a bit better. Still, probably the best user experience is with the, the physics maze, although that's not always the easiest to implement. It's not bad, but um, anyway, there you go. So I wanted to bring you back to our Zim bits. It wasn't really broken. It just, I had it um, a poor cache at the moment. Okay, so good. That takes care of that business. Let's go back into Animate then. And we will create a very high. So with Gesture, there is a slight issue. Uh, there's a difference between the CreateJS that we use in Zim and the CreateJS Adobe Animate exports to. We've been basically taking care of our local CreateJS for the last six years or seven years. We also take care of the CreateJS on the GitHub which may or may not make it into the Adobe Animate. They're kind of stuck on version one of CreateJS, and I think it's been like that for a little while. I could be wrong. Um, so there are some small nuances that, that we've implemented, or actually some fairly large nuances. Um, one has to do with the scaling of the stage due to the, the pixel ratio, and uh, scaling of the stage actually starts mixing up local to global, global to local, and local to global. Uh, local to local. But we've handled that as a fix in ours, as well as a variety of other sort of minor things. 
And one thing that we found out is that gesture seems to be broken on with the, with the original CreateJS. When we gesture, it's gesturing the whole stage rather than the item that we're trying to gesture. So the way around it, let's show you that, would be, well, for us to figure out why that's happening, but it's almost maybe not quite worth it. Uh, you're welcome to bring in the Zim version of CreateJS and use that instead of the uh, Adobe Animate version of CreateJS. And here's how we can do that. So under more settings, uh, when we go to bring in the HTML and import our HTML template, there's the Zim shim right there. But if we go into the local directory and choose Zim shim local, then what that will import is a, uh, a local ver or the, the create jazz version that's in the scripts directory locally in tutorials and the Zim version, which is in the scripts directory local uh, as well. So those are our current um, Zim and create jazz files. And if you upload those to your site in the scripts directory of, of your page, then you'll be using those ones rather than the create jazz versions. So yeah, that's that's one way to handle it. Um, so that's what we've done there. We're also going to make these things work like so and hit OK and we're all ready to go. Well, we'll save the file, file, save as. Boom, and 28, now we're on, no, OK. So what we're trying to show you here, there's all sorts of stuff in Zim gesture, I guess is good enough. And we're 28, let me just think for a sec, hang on, 28. What we're trying to show you in these tutorials are things that you can use along with your Adobe Animate that might be helpful for you. There's uh, still more to Zim, and a lot of Zim, well, Zim works without Adobe Animate, so a lot that's working in Zim is sort of paralleling what Adobe Animate would do. Uh, we did show you some positioning and adding basic shapes and stuff, but there's you know more involved. There's we've got more shapes. There's uh, blah blah blah. blah. Um, but anyway, we're we're kind of just wanting to show you the things, uh, and especially if it's a nice quick thing that might be really useful for you, like applying a gesture. So let's see what what that looks like here. Um, we'll go into the scripts F nine and make this a little bit bigger for us and say Zim. 28, 28 gesture, although that's a lowercase g because it's a method. So uh, recall that we had, well, we'll make a new rectangle, new rectangle, and we'll make it, uh, what now, how about 300 by 300, and what color shall we do? Hmm, pink. There we are, and remember that we can center this. And we can also drag it. So this is the one of the very first things we showed you, but with the circle. And now let's have a look. So there's a pink rectangle that we're currently dragging around on the stage. Mm, great. So then we showed you transform like that. And if we transform, then we get these transformation handles and people can change the size of their rectangle and indeed change the rotation. And you can show this on mobile. I mean, on mobile, we make these things twice as big uh, and you can make them even bigger if you want so that these handles are a little bit easier to grab. And we also give you um, little rotation balls automatically. So you see how we can rotate there? I think on mobile, we put little places that you can grab and spin this thing around. So that's um, transform. And now are you ready? Boom, boom, boom. Instead of drag or transform, can you imagine? We spell the word gesture like that and go control enter. So there's our rectangle with gesture. Now the cursor can pick it up and move it around, but that's it. What you need to do is use um, a touch screen. So now I'm using just a single finger. Now I've got multiple fingers and I'm going to make this, drag this bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. And as you can see, that's also rotating. So I'm pinching and rotating and then that is uh, how it all works. So <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Let's see if we can get that level. Uh, 
quite kind of jumping. Anyway, I think there was a way that we could have snapped that or something. But that is a gesture that is happening here on, there we go, a gesture that's happening here on the canvas. Pinch and zoom and getting bigger and getting smaller and rotating. Uh, so pinch to zoom uh, and then also turn your fingers to rotate and then we've got the moving around just by taking the finger and dragging it. Woohoo! So uh, there you go. That's Zim gesture. Uh, my goodness, but you know that's why don't we bring in a picture and gesture the picture? Just because we, we gotta we have to have a little promo icon for this on the YouTube channel or, or wherever we're using it. And we got we already done a pink square, I think. So let's bring in a picture. Why don't we just drop it into Flash? Okay, does that or into Adobe Animate? Does that sound good? So you can we'll, uh, remind ourselves how to zimify something so that we can get this gesture. So here's Adobe Animate. I'm going to, how do I go find a picture? I have to open up a folder. So I'm opening up a folder. I'm going to look under, uh, sorry, this is my other one. I'll bring it over in just a sec. There's a bunch of pictures of me. I don't know, do you wanna see pictures of me? You probably don't. It would be a little bit dangerous, maybe. Oh, it's a young picture of me. I'm gesturing. We gotta, we gotta choose that one. So there's a little young picture of me. Aww. Okay, so we'll pick that up and put it in there. And I happen to be gesturing. So let's uh, give that an instance name. So right click on it, uh, right click and say convert to symbol. And we'll make it a movie clip and we'll call it uh, PIC, which is P-I-C. And here, call it PIC, P-I-C. Okay, so there's what we what we want to uh, pinch and pan and whatever. <laughs> oh, poor little Dan Zen. That's back when I was Dan Zen. I actually had a name before Dan Zen, and then I became Dr. Abstract. So uh, we go back to our code, F9. And instead of the new rectangle, we will just take the picture. So this dot pick. Now uh, let's see if this works. Okay, do you think it will? We go control enter. There's the pick. I can't seem to move it. And if I F12, it says center is not a function on this dot pick. Do you know why? Remember why? It's because, I don't need any of those. It's because this, this dot pick is a create.js uh, image now, or like an Adobe Animate exported to create.js. We want to zimify it. So we zimify this dot pick, and that adds the methods like center and gesture. So now we go control enter, there's the pick, I can drag it around, and now I'm gonna take my fingers and pinch and, and move. Okay, so woohoo, I'm pinching and rotating with my fingers. Isn't that amazing? So there, that's, uh, that can be the, uh, the screenshot. <laughs> Something like that, if I get the level, there we go. All right, I am that same fellow. Do you wanna see that fellow grown up? Oh, there he is. That's me, oh, Dr. Abstract. And that was half Dr. Abstract, probably, probably pretty close to that. Maybe a little less than abstract divided by um, two <laughs> abstract times 0.5. All right, uh, you're welcome to come join us at zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. Uh, we'd love to answer any of your questions there, see what you're building, or uh, talk to us on the Animate channels. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye.